Today I'm going to show you how to recone a subwoofer. I'm reconing my PSI Platform 318. I kind of already started it. But let's get started. Basically, first thing you want to do is cut the surround. I know it's going to hurt at first, but yeah, cut the surround all the way around like that. Then if you have tinsel leads right here, you cut those if you have the um, push terminals. Since I'm not going to be doing push terminals, I'm cutting them off and I got to disconnect it right here and the push terminals just come out. Alright, then after you do that, you want to cut the spider out. And that's what we're going to do right now. Alright you two, after you cut out the spiders, cut the tensile lead, the cone should come right out. Unless I missed a few spaces, it should just pop right on out. As you can see it's coming out, but you see I didn't cut the spider all the way. You can see the voice coil. So I'm going to cut the rest of the spiders and then show you when I'm pulling it out. Alright you two, I think I got all the spiders cut right now. I'm about to pull out the cone. And let's see. Oh yeah. Now you can see why I needed a recone, guys. Look at that. It's not even copper anymore. It's burnt. That coil is burnt beyond repair. I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did, but that's, that's the gist of it. It's black at the bottom. You can see a faint bit of copper at the top. But let's see how many spiders were in this wolf, I believe. One... Two, three, four, four layer thick spiders. It's a pain to cut through. <clears throat> this is what the basket looks like right now. Basically, right now, the only thing you got to have to do from now is when you do a recone, you make sure you got to take off the rest of the spiders right here. Take out the push terminals if you're going to get rid of the push terminals, which I am. And get rid of the push terminals. I'm going to take those out. Get rid of the rest of the spiders on this ends right here. <clears throat> get rid of this glued part from the surround also. And then make sure for a fact that everything inside is clean. You don't want to get any dust inside where the voice coil is moving up and down right here in the magnet. So when you are cutting and stuff, I suggest getting a, a little can of air and blow some air inside of it and then while you're doing make sure there's nothing in there right now and then tape it off that's what I'm going to try and do and then tape it off and sand and grind away all this area right here and then when I get back with y'all I'm going to see what, see what we can do next alright YouTube a couple hours later decided to take a break and stop for the day this is the result of it. Basically, you grind it down the sides right here. I'm not completely done yet. Grind it down right here. And then grind it down right here where the spiders are going to be glued down also. I still need to take out the tens oh, not tensile leads. These terminals right here. Just need to undo this little bolt right here. And they just pop right on out because I'm putting direct leads. I still got the tape on because I still got a little bit more grinding to do. I um, need to take off. A little bit of thing, a little bit of glue on the edges right here. There's a little glue on the edges, as you can see. Probably there's a little glue on the edges. Need to take off. Need to take off a little bit of glue on the edges right here. Also, I mean, it's pro I'm sure it'll be good enough to do to put the recon on right now, but I don't want to take any chances at it. So this is what's done so far. What needs to get done. For a recone, because you see the basket, it's fine. Got all types of tools everywhere. 
All right, you guys, we're going to start the recone process. You have the baskets already cleaned. Now I'm going to show you what everything you get in detail when you order a recone kit from PSI. For starters, you get your recone kit. I got direct lead. You can get terminals. You get this little thing right here, the little cardboard. It goes through the voice course to stop damage during shipment. You do take this off, and you put it, so you take this off before you put it in there. Then you also get some shims with it. This little piece of plastic. This is to stop the voice coil from shifting when it's in the motor right there. Basically, show you what you do. You basically just roll these up, put it inside like how this cardboard is, put it in there, and at the end you just take them out. It stops the voice coil from shifting because if you don't use these shims or any shims at all, when you, if you do it wrong and it's not centered right, you can get coil rub, which is very bad. You can't play your sub anyway. It's going to break within a matter of minutes, probably. But you need the shims, which you, they give you right here. You get a dust cap, of course. I got a PSI dust cap because I, I am running PSI subs. Nice, beautiful carbon fiber dust cap. You also get these three bottles right here. You go through them in detail. You get CA adhesive. the CA glue basically you get rubber adhesive and you get activator CA only you use these three right here use these three right here to basically recone your kit take this put it in there spread the activator on it I'm gonna show you how to do it right real quick or I'm gonna do it right here real quick you also gonna need besides that's what all comes with the kit right there you get the you get this, you get this, the shims, you get the glues, and your dust cap. What you also you're going to need for this recone are a bunch of clamps. When you do your spider, you clamp it down, hold the glue down. Right here also you're going to need it. Right here. So you got a bunch of clamps right here waiting. And we're going to get going. Alright, first things first. First thing you're going to do, get your, get your cone. Make sure your direct leads are perfect. If you're using direct leads, run them through your terminal holes. Right there. You're gonna run them through those holes right there, right there. But first before anything, I take this off. Right, this little paint piece right here to get that piece of cardboard out. So I'm gonna do that real quick. As you can see, it comes right out like that. Put that to the side. Nice, beautiful copper voice coil. Now you take this. This is where you, your shims come in. These little plastic shims like this. Roll them up. Like that. Leave goes in like this. Just put them in there like that. You can see there's one. There's one. And there's the other one. Just push them down. Push them down in there like that. Like so. Alright, and this is the part that gets tricky. Oh, another thing. See where this is how you can pull them out. So you don't have to worry about them getting stuck inside. You get the shims, you put them in there like that. Now, one other thing, guys. The difference between these two glues, I'm going to explain it to you right here. This one's a CA adhesive. This one's a rubber adhesive. There's a difference between two of them, and I'm going to tell you what's the difference. If you go to fixmyspeaker.com slash glue dash instructions, it tells you how to use these two and two things but I'm explaining it to you very simple the CA one right here the CA one is for the spider which is going to be right here the spider landing the rubber adhesive one right here is going to be for your surround which would be right here it can they both can be used according to their website if they both can be used then put the dust cap on if, if needed whichever one you wanted to do 
I'm gonna read the little, a little brief thing of the of what they say on their website right here. Rubber contact adhesive is made up of very specialized blend liquefies, blah blah blah, allowing you to put tight hold on glue. It works well for the application of surrounds to the basket and cone. It is also very good for dust cap applications. That's for the rubber adhesive one. That's for this one right here, the rubber adhesive. Now, for the CA adhesive, this one is the one that requires the activator. The CA adhesive, we recommend CA glue for all spider to coil and spider to frame joints. All cone to coil joints and also some dust cap applications. So this one would be the main one you want to use to dust caps and for your surround. This is the one you want to use for your spider. You can use it for dust caps, but it's not well. It is recommended for some applications, but this one just go, just go with this one. The C8 adhesive in application in any application where very strong but slightly flexible material is needed, which means the spider is very flexible. It's got to move up and down. This one would be the best one for it. All right, just thought I'd clear that up so y'all know which one to use when y'all get your kit. All right, you guys, I'm gonna start laying a bead. Of the CA adhesive, we're gonna glue the spiders down first. You can see a nice little bead around, and I am gonna put a little bit on the bottom of the spider as well. You can see that, but. So the last thing you want to do is have your spider come up on you. That's you need them. All right, basically a nice little bead of that. Right there. Shims in there. Kind of put this in there. Make sure when you put it in there, though, you line up your direct leads with the with your thing at the bottom for your direct leads to go into. Just, kind of just putting it right in there. down let's push down now I'm gonna run once I got that pushed down like so I'm gonna take these the direct leads and run them through just to get them out the way for right now okay now we got that in directly right there. You will glue these down later. Make sure you want to give yourself a little bit of slack. So, so when it's moving, basically you want to push down the spider. You know, should you see it? Some of the glue is right there. Now I'm gonna take some of the glue because I'm really don't want any of this out. Put some of the, some glue in the spot, like one bead of glue, one nice little bead of glue. Right here, so make sure that spire is not going nowhere. All right, after you lay your CA adhesive glue down, I'm gonna find something. All right, here we go. You want to find your CA activator. I'm going to take the top off like this. Take the top off. It comes with a little nozzle that you'll need. Put the nozzle in it. Boom. You got a spray bottle um, activator. Once you spray the activator on there though, you are basically stuck into whatever it looks like. So this is when you want to get your... This one you want to spray it. 
do one spray for each side and start putting your clamps on. So. So. Alright, so basically, so basically when you get your clips on there, it's basically holding the spider down as best it can. It sometimes will slip. But as long as it's holding it down, as you can see right here, it's holding it down. The glue, when you spread that adhesive on it, basically hardens it. So I can touch it right now. Like I'm touching it right now. And there's a little, there's nothing on my finger right now. So once you spread that, that CA adhesive, it basically permanently seals your stuff in there. So basically, you put it on there. Make sure it's correct. Make sure your shims are in there. Make sure everything's in there when you do that. Because once you spread adhesive, a CA adhesive activator, there's no going back. All right. Now, next step, we got glue to surround. Surround won't be that hard. Basically, you can just peel it away. Like this, how I'm gonna do it. Basically, just peel it away, leave a bead of glue, and let the thing fall back on. I've seen many ways on do this one. Some people put a ton of little clamps. I've seen a few videos where these people just put the gasket on it. Personally, I don't trust that the gasket's strong enough to hold it because I really don't want any problems with this woofer once it's once it's together. So I'm gonna do some clamps. Not many, cause, but I'm going to put some clamps on it after this dries. These clamps right here, I'm going to put some clamps on it. Let it dry and see what, what goes from there. Then basically pull out the shims. Once the, everything dries right here and right here area, everything dries. Take the dust cap it's right here. You lay a bead of glue in here, this little bent part. Sure you can see where it bends. I'm going to put in the bent part. That's... A little groove, see, you can see it right here on camera. That little groove is where you want to put some glue and your dust cap. It sits right into it. I'm not putting it, not dropping it, but basically you put it right there. That little groove goes all the way around the woofer. So you can put the glue there and you just drop the dust cap right on top. But make sure before you put the dust cap on, you take your shims out. And the final touch it, basically you want to put some of that rubber glue we just put on the, on the spider. Put it right here, right here also, to stop this motion from going on. That's basically about it so far. All right, next step, take the rubber adhesive. And take the rubber adhesive, come with this little nozzle, take this little piece off, put the nozzle on, and glue the surround down. Now we're gonna do that next. All right, got the nozzle on. You gotta cut it. All right. Now that's up. You let the cone go down. Press it down. Now I got the glue on. Take the cone. Just push it down. On the edges, make sure nothing it's completely down. <clears throat> Take it, push it down all around all corners, make sure that glue is getting on that, that surround. It's okay if it comes up a little bit right there because you're gonna have the gasket on most of the time for this. And you don't have to worry about it. You now for the platform three recone kit, you don't have to worry about matching up the gap the surround with the holes underneath, which are right there's one of them right here. You can see it. There's one right there. There's one right there. You don't have to worry about that because as you can see there's no holes on the top right here. So but you do have to worry about the direct leads or terminals, whatever you're using, make sure that lines up with that. So just go around, push it down, best you can. 
make sure you get that really good connection because as you get when you're playing 20 hertz on a sub or any anything you know how if you've seen videos and how this thing really moves you don't want it coming up under any circumstances <laughs> so make sure you get it down really good like that now i'm gonna take some clamps clamp it down now by now it's been about 10 minutes or so the top's done so this is should be done right here this should be done drying i believe it should be anyways let's take it off i believe it should be done drying nice hard it's not fully dry but still still pretty dry where i could take some of these clamps off i believe I don't want to surround. Basically, it's something like that. Now the final step when everything does dry and take all these clamps off. Take this, this, um, whatever these, I forget what these called. <clears throat> now when everything's done drying, take all the clamps off. Take these little pieces of paper out the center of your coil out. Then comes the dust cap. That's the only thing we got left to do. Let's put it right there. Glue at the bottom. Now the best way to put a dust cap on is not holding it like this. Set it on there like that. I mean you can do it that way but it's not the easiest I've learned or, or saw done. Easiest way I've seen it done. Take a piece of tape. Stick it on there. Then you can lower it on top. Your, your woofer like that. Into, into place. Easiest way to do it. Alright, put that right there. Alright, after a few minutes, take some, when you're ready to glue down the terminals right here, you can do that. Take the, this little terminals right there, well, terminal, I'm using direct leads. Basically, you take them, face them the way you want, I think will work best. <clears throat> Get them out of the way if you want. <clears throat> Alright, got your direct leads, take your glue, you're going to use the CA glue for this one. Your CA glue, now pull them all the way through, like that, like so. Try and do this with the camera. Take it. Uh, I'm not sure what you can see. Just drop a nice glob of it right there. Same thing for this side. that get your accelerator or not accelerator yeah your, your activator get it one spray of activator it should dry in 10 minutes now don't want to move that for a while because you want it to dry we're done pretty good so now we're going to take the clamps off of that take the clamps off the surround now we can put a rubber gasket on. Put the rubber gasket on. Take all these clamps off. I'm pretty sure it's decently. It's been waiting about. I waited about 30 minutes for this to dry. However, I doubt. And there you go. We have a gasket back on our woofer. We still have our shims in here. So we're going to take those. We're going to crack this part for. We're doing it right now. So we're gonna prep that. We got the dust cap over there. Our PSI dust cap. Nice beautiful dust cap, carbon fiber. It's gonna just lay it down right there. Probably like that. It's gonna look something like that. And then we're gonna be done. So I'm gonna pull the shims out first. Alright, we're gonna start the dust cap. I just see I put some painters tape on it to hold it down to move it the way I want. We're gonna be using the rubber adhesive. See how well you can see that. Rubber adhesive. 
to pull it down. You can use the CA glue, but it's they on the website says this one works better. So I'm just gonna stick with the website, whichever one they say works better, and go with it. As you can see, or I might not be able to see. Let me get some light. There we go. As you can see on camera, slightly. There's a little bitty groove right about here. In this area here. That you put the bead of glue on. You can see a lot easier. It's just done so up on camera. You put the glue around there. You can't put glue on the dust cap. On the little bent part of the dust cap. And just put it on there, let it dry. Put something heavy on top of it so it can sit. So, but first things first. Take the shims out. Take one. Take this one out. It just slides right on out. Just like that. Take the rubber adhesive. Put on this little line around here. Be very careful. You don't want to mess this part up because the part everyone sees. And you can see there's a bead of glue going around it. Where dust cap's gonna be. Now we're gonna take the dust cap. I mean, take the dust cap. I had the painter's tape here so I can hold it in its place. Just gently put it down like that. And push down. Okay, like I was saying, after you put your dust cap on with the glue. I'm gonna put something, I have a roll of duct tape and a stapler, which is, isn't too heavy, but it's heavy enough to hold it down where the glue will get a good bond. I left the, some of the clamps on, I'm gonna leave them overnight. Leave the clamps on overnight just to, so I don't wanna mess anything up or get it misaligned. So I, do, I did take the shims out already. The shims are right here. Now, the way I did it, I put the white one inside and the black one on the outside something like this do them like that when you take them out you take i took the white one out first and the black one out second because the white one comes out a lot easier now this is how you recone a subwoofer in general terms this is how you recone a subwoofer this is how i recone my subwoofer so this is my uh, one of my first, this is my first recone of the subwoofer, so hopefully it turns out really good. I'm hoping it plays, but <clears throat> everything's done correctly. So when I get my wall, I'm putting this one in. I'm gonna test it. I'm not putting too much power on when I first when I first put power on it, but I am gonna test it with some low power. Um, <clears throat> have seen people with the extra glue they have, the extra CA glue. To put more glue on the spider right here, so you don't have to worry about it coming up later. Oh, let's see if I get the camera in there. You can see the glue right here, nice clean bead right there. So I might put a little bit more CA glue just to not to worry about the spider ever coming up, ever. I really don't want it to come up. But as far as the glue goes. It's a really good glue job. <clears throat> I mean, there's no way it's going to come up. If it does, oh, oh well. But that's how you recon a subwoofer. I got a brand new one in the mail recently. I got this PSI Platform 318. I got another one in my room waiting to go in my wall and building. So stay tuned because this is going to be a pretty big build coming along. I, I got my 18s. Got my car in the shop getting a wall built 
I got the alternator in. I got a decent sized amp to push both of them. Only thing we really need now is batteries. I'm only running two excess power batteries at the moment. But later on, that's more power, more money. That's what's coming next. This is how you recone a subwoofer, guys. Hope I answered some of your questions. Um, this is I've never seen anybody recone a PSI Platform 300 videos before, so I wanted to make one for you guys. If any of y'all had questions or concerns about them, hit, hit me with a comment below. Comment, like, subscribe for more content. I do post videos about once a week. If you have any questions about anything, anything I did right here, I'll be more than happy to reply back. I do try to reply to all my comments on whoever leaves a comment. I do try to reply to everybody. I do try and let everybody know. Cause this is, I mean, this is a community of base heads. We try to get better. Anything that helps everybody. It's not, it's not about taking first place in a competition. It's about helping everybody. Cause I mean, I don't do this to take first place in a competition. I don't expect taking first place with two 18s. I mean, I do it for fun because I love it. So, if I, I want to share this with you guys. I want to let y'all enjoy it too. If y'all have any problems with blown woofers, hit me up. I'll be happy to hit you back with a response as best I can. Comment, like, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Come here now, girl.